well howdy duty fellas this is your host super poopy and i know i look a little bit filthy so i don't want to put the camera too much in my face plus i still gotta cut out some crops but today is different why because we're using the galaxy s9 apparently the camera's in 4k and it's gonna look great or something also the swastika see that swastika right there it's for non-political reasons. That I just have that because I have a whole rumble display. As you know, um, I showed you guys my uh, my whole World War II uh, German display. But today, I'm going to focus on me. Uh, today, I'm going to show you guys my, um, uh, my Japanese World War II display. And I got more than just World War II when it comes to Japanese. Most of it overall is art. But I do have some World War II artifacts and a lot of cool stuff you guys will want to look to. Anyways... Uh, enough about me. Let's take a look at my Japanese stuff. Anyways, I got quite the variety here. And this is a bigger wall. See, I got like one whole big wall and half a wall over there. It starts transitioning into my music section. So don't even worry about that. But we're going to start from right to left. Now over here, I have a geisha I drew. Ugh, if, there you go. I just got to get my shadow in the way. It's a geisha. And I forgot what, uh, I believe I drew the symbol for beauty. And apparently that's my name in Japanese according to a friend of mine. Although I got a different translation, but either, either way it's cool. We got a fan, which uh, the Japanese did use a lot in order for like, you know, military commands. You know, the samurai and stuff. And also just to, you know, get a nice breeze after a hot day. Um, as you can see. This is art from a friend. I'm not this good with drawing shades. And uh, this freaking reflection sucks. But whatever it'll do. And uh, yeah. It's an early, early uh, samurai. I believe uh, 1300s era. You can tell by the helmet. Very lovely. Very lovely. He's holding up the samurai sword. And again. Uh, apparently that is my name in Japanese. I'm not too sure about that. But uh, still I appreciate it. It's from a good friend of mine. And over here I have... Technically, this is my first stencil ever, although it was crappily made with printing paper. That's why it's all blurry and fuzzy, but still pretty good for my first time. Very good. It's uh, the Bushido symbol, which means uh, the way of samurai life. Very cool. And over here, we have a samurai with a... Uh, what were they called again? Naginatas? Kind of like spear... No, I be Naginatas. No, Otachi is the big ass samurai sword. I believe this is Naginata, so I believe I am correct. It's basically like a sword spear. Pretty cool. Really cool weapon. Uh, I'd love to own one eventually. Oh. What a well. Yeah, this is Naginata though. And over here we start progressing into more Imperial Japan. More modernized uh, Western style Japan. And this is a Japanese soldier during the invasion of Korea. As you can see, he's about to cut someone with a samurai sword. Very cool, very cool. Now, I don't believe... I think this was during the Korean invasion or something like that. Um, now, back here, unfortunately, due to different... Uh, we've been moving stuff around. As you can see, I got my TV here. I got all the stuff. Don't even worry about that. That's just a bunch of random stuff for collections. Just mainly cars. But as you can see, I even put my background. It's a samurai. I believe this was taken during the Satsuma Rebellion. Uh, before the Satsuma Rebellion or something like that. That is an actual samurai. This is a real photograph of a real samurai. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can look up those images. They have a lot of pictures of samurai. It's really cool because it's like... They like kind of frozen time ever since they cut off everyone... From Japan and just did their own thing but anyways that's Japanese history uh, you should totally look it up the Japanese are quite a fascinating people anyways here's my Japanese Imperial flag the rising Sun unfortunately is being covered by the TV but I might raise my flag so it could be displayed higher cuz see all this blank space I used to have a samurai sword hang there but it was just too clumsy and that's why I have these two holes <coughs> gag uh, these two holes here and yeah Anyways, let's move on to the left. More modernizing. Over here I got nunchucks, although I do not know the history of nunchucks. I believe nunchucks are Chinese. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know the history of nunchucks. I just know Bruce Lee really liked them. And they were really cool. And over here, this is a high school project, so it's not all that good. 
It looks kind of crappy, but still kind of nice. Two samurai swords. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And my little stamp symbol, mountains and a rising sun. Very lovely. Anyways, we're going more into World War II Japan now. Over here, we have a Japanese bayonet for a Type 99, I believe. Type 99 rifle. I have it tied up to this knot here so I could uh, display it. In a bit, we could take it out. And, uh, you know what? Let's take a close look. Why not? This is about 20 inches, I believe. Bayonet frog and the... the scabbard I believe so yeah I believe it will lock into the rifle with this mechanism here and the rifle will shoot out of that hole so you go and then um, you press this button to release it I believe or maybe the button would help it lock in but it's very beautiful very lovely as you can see it gets silver on the tip because I used it for uh, digging during the face banks treasure thing but uh, yeah very beautiful. It's not even sharp. This is like a museum display, but I will sharpen it. Very beautiful knife. I would recommend you get one. Now, I don't know where to start. I think I'll start from the top once it gets here to World War II Japan. Over here, I actually made this. This is oil pastel. Not what I usually work with. I usually use paintings, like paint, uh, watercolor paint, and uh, spray paint. So this was very new to me, but still I'm very satisfied. As you can see, he has a Gunto Samurai Sword. Uh, these are basically more modernized versions of the Japanese Samurai Sword. Very beautiful. And it's got a very nice frame. Uh, as you can see, he's got the rising sun behind him. So it's very patriotic, very beautiful. Um, over here, we have like a small dedication to um, uh, uh, Sakai Oba. One of the few Japanese soldiers that refused to surrender after World War II. So that's really awesome. Oh, sorry about that. Over here we have some putties. Now these putties are British because absolutely everywhere I couldn't find any Japanese putties. But they're extremely similar. They just time in a different way. And over here we have, um, I forgot what it's called, but it goes on the tip of the sword. I mean like uh, right in the tip of the handle, like right over. I forgot what it's called, but I got it for this samurai sword and unfortunately it did not fit. So now I just got it here on display. Over here we have a leather belt for a Japanese uh, officer for uh, Nambu ammo. Now I don't know if the magazines go here or individual bullets so that's a bit complicated. Over here we have the Sakai Oba picture. This is just the printing. Uh, nothing too special but still a very honorable man. A respectable soldier. Um, now I believe he was not involved in any sort of war crime. If he was involved in some sort of war crime during uh, the whole occupation in China, then I would definitely not have him up here. But if you do anything, if you do know anything about Sakaoba being involved in war crimes, uh, please do let me know. Although so far I haven't heard anything bad about him, but he seems like a respectable soldier, and that's why I have him up here, and that's why I look up to him. Uh, over here we have the gloves. A lot of Japanese troops wear uh, white. Uh, dress gloves even in combat so that's pretty crazy right and over here we have a Japanese officer's cap uh, it does have the flaps in it behind it so that's very lovely uh, and now I know this is Chinese but I just decided to display it here very ironic uh, but uh, I should probably uh, move those somewhere else over here we have one of my first stencils which is uh, this is Hiro Onoda this is the guy that literally spent 30 years in the jungle Thinking World War II was still a thing. This guy killed 30 cops thinking there were American soldiers. This guy is a legend. He never gave up. And uh, that's another reason why I look up to this dude. Uh, been a middle school hero. Not childhood. But uh, I looked up to him since my early high school days. Because, you know, the fact that he, uh, that he has endurance and never gave up. And his survival skills, that's something to look up to, you know. And over here, I have my boots. This is why I display them. These are German, though. These are German World War II, but to be honest, all knee boots back then were extremely similar. And till this day, they still are. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably use this for many impressions, including World War I. But, uh, yeah, let's not go off subject now. Over here, we have the samurai sword, the katana. And, um... Uh, Another small 
rising sun flag there. Um, so you can see it's very lovely. Now that's fake ray skin, but it is full tang, so the blade goes into the handle. This ain't no crappy samurai sword. This is a real deal. It's made out of high carbon steel, so you could probably take this into battle or something. It even came with a display and everything. The only thing that's fake about this sword is the ray skin under the wrap. But you know what? I don't mind that because I like manta rays and uh well why kill them when you could when fake ray skin could get the job done. Anyways, we have a bonsai headband or a kamikaze. So uh if you don't know what kamikaze stands for, kami means like godly or like divine and then kazi means wind. So it's like divine winds and uh that was in reference to, you know, the airplanes in battle and stuff. So that that's pretty cool. I also wear this in my on my head while I go to the gym and work out, which is pretty cool. Uh, it keeps the hair out of my face and you look super awesome. You look like a Japanese warrior or something. And over here, we have the kit to keep my sword nice and clean and up to date. Now, uh, we could go ahead and take a look at the samurai sword and then from there on, we'll wrap it up. So there you go, guys. This is my samurai sword. This is the part I wanted to replace, but unfortunately that piece didn't fit. I forgot what it's called, uh, but a will. Very lovely blade. Very beautiful. See, it's got the red stain there. It was well made, well made. Unfortunately, I did get a stain here from cutting lemons, and apparently uh, lemons have like acid. And these blades are very delicate. I mean, they're very strong and powerful, but if you want to keep it 100% clean, you got to take real good care of it, like 100%. And, uh, well, I got this sword when I was still barely lear learning about how to take care of samurai swords and stuff. But, uh, yeah, eventually I will expand my sword collection. And, uh, and I also want to get, uh, World War II Gunto, so that'd be awesome. But, anyways, guys, uh, that is it for today. That was my Japanese World War II display, uh, over here. It just transitions into my music section, Marine Corps, and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, there's all my Japanese display. I also have the practice sword there. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, I have this. This is another school project. We have to make World War II propaganda. And well, if you like the video, um, like. If you like me, subscribe. And love y'all. Take care. And leave a comment, let, let, uh, let me know what you think of this display, what you want to see in this channel, and uh, what do you think about the Galaxy S9? Is the camera better, or would you rather prefer with the with the, um, Canon uh, 1080p? Alright, love y'all.